So, still in the Xerox features, right underneath here, we'll look, we'll, we find paper. So if ever you need to print on any kind of special paper, for example, if you want to print on envelopes, labels, letterhead, select other type and select your paper type from here. So if you want to print on labels, you would just select labels. And if there are any other conflicts, the machine will tell you here and the changes will be made for you automatically. You just have to click on continue and press print. What's important is that wh whatever you program here, when you get over to the multifunction device, you're going to place your special paper, in this case labels, most likely in your bypass tray. What's important is whatever tray you decide to put them in, you want to make sure that you configure the tray um, with the same paper type as what you've selected here in your print driver. So we'll just leave this at standard or plain paper for now. Right underneath here, you'll find two-sided printing. So your machine may be set already at two-sided print. It may not. Um, so this is where you come to change it either to one-sided or two-sided. Your print quality is at a standard quality by default. You do have options. You can switch it down to toner saver or you can enhance your um, print job. This is if you want a higher resolution, for example. And your output destination is at automatically select. So you don't have to, you don't need to go there, but you can. You can select the right tray. Um, normally it's coming out the main stacker tray, depending on whether you've got a finisher module or not.